it was your first book, Narcissistic Marriage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which was my thesis, a yeah. version of my thesis. Yeah. Uh, now, you, you were focusing on, on a sort of narcissistic uh, well, there, no, there I was interested in self-reflexivity. I was interested in particular in novels that were about being novels. And not just in a descriptive sense of looking at how these novels did this, but in what this implied for a theory of the novel. Because what these books tended to do, and why critics seemed to hate them, was they, they sort of took the critic's job away from him or her. You know, here was a book that talked about what it was and about its own theoretical precon preconditions and, pre and assumptions that it had, and what was left for the critic to do. You know, the critic becomes redundant in a way, and I wanted to look at exactly that, the complexity of that. That was the first foray. Mm -hmm. In a way it was, I mean, I didn't know it. In fact, I'm embarrassed when I think about it, because when the book was reissued in paperback a few years after uh, it was first published, uh, I couldn't change the text, but I could write an introduction. And I chose to write an introduction, which people tease me about it mercilessly, which says, you know, I'm not going to use the word postmodern, it's just another one of those words. And you learn to live with those words. Uh -huh. And in fact, I think I was provoked to work on postmodernism precisely as an attempt to, to give a definition to the word. I kept seeing the word used without being defined. And uh, that's what provoked me to that, I think. I, I think so. Um, the course at the Institute in particular is, if you want me to talk about that a bit, is about the um, discursive politics of irony. In other words, how irony is used in all of its complex functions uh, within certain cultural contexts. And in fact, today in the class we were discussing the Rom exhibit, Into the Heart of Africa, which in some ways is into the heart of irony. And there are very real problems about interpretation of irony. Well, there are many problems about the show and about its reception, but that was one of the things. And I've tried to bring examples to the class, not just from visual arts and from literature, which are the two fields that uh, I've been looking at, but also uh, from newspapers, uh, from things going on around us like this show. I've sent them off on a walking tour of Toronto to look at public art in the city and its context to see if it, any of them are ironic in context, as a way of studying the context of irony. Yeah, do you have any good example of, of uh, public art in Toronto that, that sort of... Uh, oh, sure, there are lots, actually. There's Joe Fafford's The Pasture, as you probably know, off uh, on Adelaide, or Richmond, now I've forgotten which it's on. Um, which one? It must be Richmond. Anyway, right near, between Bay and York, um, there are two enormous office buildings, and then there's this little patch of grass between the two, on which there are seven life-size bronze cows. And they're very realistic, they look like you know, real cows. But they're bronze, and they're sitting on little pads of, of grass, and it's called the pasture. Now this is, it's urban, rural, it's, it's uh, all the ironies of material to bronze versus flesh. Uh, there are added ironies, I'm told, because they're, they're digging up the grass, and they've placed the, the um, cows on mats of some kind, which students who have gone to, to see this since this has happened have said look like placemats, which add new irony. But my favorite irony about that one is that if you look up the street on, from this particular spot called the pasture, up uh, York Street north, you look right at Osgood Hall and the gates in front of it. And the first gate you see is the cow gate, which is to keep cows out. And clearly this was the historical pasture in the city, and they needed cows' gates in front of that building to keep those cows out. So there are all kinds of, of interesting contextual lines that go on there. Yeah. Yeah. There are lots of examples of that. 